We are all indigenous people to Mother Earth. We are all guests of Mother Earth, whether we from Europe, from Africa, from uh, North America, South America, Asia. Hopefully by the time you leave today, you'll really understand what the Fargo Project is all about. What's in front of you is a site at uh, Rabanus Park. It is over at 42nd Street and 17th Avenue. Hop, skip, and a jump from the uh, YMCA and West Acres Mall. But uh, this was selected as a test pilot site to create a new and exciting water basin area, stormwater park area that uh, we don't have here in Fargo. And so uh, we need all your creative ideas uh, to help us come up with a new, a new kind of park, an outdoor space. Many of you receive bowls as invitations, but um, you might wonder why a bowl. That's kind of the symbol of our project right now. And, uh, and what has this bowl got to do with or have in common with this big basin at Rabanus Park that's 18 acres and is going to be the site that we're fig trying to design today? So here's a clue. The bowl holds water. So a few things make this project different from most parks. Uh, the first thing is, it is a, a basin that has to hold water during storms. And anything we do today, anything, any of the fabulous ideas you're going to come up with, have to also respect that water holding function. No one is making water. Even though we've learned how to invent things like spaceships and iPods and automobiles, we haven't figured out how to invent water. So the water that we have on Earth is the only water we have. Now, in that sea of grass, not all the grasses were dry prairie species. There was a lot of wetland. And those wetlands developed in basins such as we're talking about this afternoon. We are all indigenous people to Mother Earth. We are all guests of Mother Earth, whether we from Europe, from Africa, from uh, North America, South America, Asia. We are all indigenous people to Mother Earth. As, as, as we grow, we are getting back to our roots again. We're finding places that are empty and we're putting our plants back in there. At each table, um, you can see that there's a, a, a sand model. And this is actually based on what the site really looks like. It's, it's the same shape and it's to scale. Then we have what we're calling the starter kit on, on materials. We have rocks, um, logs. There's also other things. There's gardens, flowers up, up there if you need more. This is just to get you started. Here, we are gathering us, all of us, people together to really experience our imaginations. The other thing that makes us very different from any other park that I know of uh, in this area is usually these kinds of spaces are designed in an office by one or two people. And then it's made by the city and it, it appears. This is just the opposite. We actually are thinking this through together. We're going to keep designing together. You'll find out more about that later. And, um, and it's, it's, we hope it's going to be, you love it enough that it's your place. You want this to be a place where you feel at home and that you feel so at home you use it regularly with your families and you even want to take care of it. One of the things that we did with ours was we tried to kind of separate what might be a tranquil space from more of a play space. So we have a, we have a perimeter pathway that has a change in texture in terms of what the pavement you know, the stepping paths are with some bridges along the edge. So we found the most important thing to be gardens and natural play areas for the children and fields of flowers. Our group also wanted a lot of color. Having different various bridge crossings um, along the stream and then a wetland area where it terminates. Um, a dance studio slash art studio, um, a gazebo and greenhouse just different places so everyone can just feel like welcomed in. Next to the island we have a vista. Most people in North Dakota don't have those. 
<laughs> and then throughout the place we have flowers there because we want to see the natural beauty because if it's surrounded by next to like the highway and whatnot the first thing you want to see is the beauty in the city and after this week we are going to be uh, working with um, our stakeholders the park district river keepers um, the engineering city departments and looking at how as these ideas come together the idea that we would kind of come this bring this together into a, a final what we call schematic design kind of a rough big picture design we heard so many stories about I planted a tree when I was six and now it's 30 feet high and I love this tree so there's um, way all these flowers and trees we can they can really be from us gifts to the earth and to um, other Fargoans. So you, I, we hope you'll be around to come help make it, use it, and love it, and take care of it. So thank you so, so much. This was wonderful, really wonderful.